So I really just wanted to make this video because I had so much footage from working on the mural project, specifically chapter one. Uh, there's three chapters, but I've been prepping so much for chapter one, and I have a bunch of videos of acrylic paintings, and I just thought I'd make this video, kind of put it all together and do like a steps to a mural video. The steps I took in preparation and drawing, coming up with the idea to executing. I started off with the writing. I wrote the short story first. Once I had the short story down, I had a better idea of what I wanted to paint for chapter one. So it's 50 words. And from that little chapter, I wanted to, you know, depict this scene from the chapter. So it all started with sketching, doing thumbnails, just getting ideas down with the flower and the young girl who's kind of like this subject. They are the subject of the first chapter of the whole story, but specifically um, wandering into a forest. So that idea was kind of my seed, you can say. And from there, like I said, sketching and then taking it to the iPad. You know, finally, once I had like a more solid sketch, just take a picture of this and start drawing with it on Procreate, just a good app. The iPad is a great tool and I love to use it. I don't like drawing with it, but once you have like ideas, sketches down, it's nice to vector files. It's nice to, you know, move things around. It's basically Photoshop, anything you could need um, digitally, moving things around, color. So do a full blown, you know, blueprint rubric of kind of like the outline. Um, and then, you know, that just makes me a little more happy and familiar and comfortable. And so I knew I needed to do a little more prep work or I wanted to, cause I really wanted to kill this project. So I took that outline, kind of the rubric, the, the core idea and put it, um, transferred it onto a piece of illustration board that I gessoed. Um, and I wanted to do an acrylic painting just to be a little more familiar with, um, you know, a tangible analog piece of art. So did that up, did a bunch of colors, used a lot of yellow, um, and that was just practice. It was one ninth, ninth the scale of the actual mural itself. The mural wall is nine feet by eight feet. This was nine times smaller, so everything's proportionally scaled down. And yeah, just practiced, had fun, tried different things, and it was great to do that. And I was happy that I did it. I wasn't necessarily extremely excited about the final product. It was just practice and preparation. And I decided to do another one, to do a, a little bigger um, analog acrylic painting. Um, and this time I started out, um, instead of transferring it with a piece of paper like I did before, I used a grid because that's how I, I was gonna do it on the uh, big wall to get the outline on all the proportions. I was gonna use a grid. So gridded it out to practice that and uh, just kind of did the same thing. You know, they're two different paintings completely, but it's the exact same idea and concept. So it's nice to have different um, elements within the same idea to draw back from. Um, and that's all I was planning on doing for the second acrylic painting, you know, doing kind of the similar things that I did in the first one, trying out a couple new things, um, using actually different techniques, even though it looks very similar. Um, it was all just good you know, good practice. I keep saying that, but that was the name of the game. And it came out great. I really liked both of the uh, acrylic paintings. I like to paint on um, illustration boards. It's actually really fun. It's not as hefty and kind of bulky as a canvas, but I really enjoyed the uh, two paintings. I thought they came out great and it just gave me so much efficiency and confidence actually moving towards the mural because I problem solved, I did, techniques and I tried out a bunch of things twice, you know, I pretty much have painted this um, illustration three times from that point of finishing the second canvas, so I was super amped. Changed a little final things on my iPad once I did those two paintings because I was dialed in and I knew what I wanted now. I had done it a couple times and yeah, so I changed it around with those kind of sunbeams cranking through and that was what the final product's gonna be. And I painted it on the mural, it's all done. Um, here's a little sneak peek. Awesome, right? I'm gonna release the vlog-ish behind the scenes videos of painting on the wall. And then after that will be 
the cinematic video that Tom is gonna, um, you know, produce and edit. So hopefully I didn't ramble too long. I really don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I thought it would be important and I wanted to share the preparation work because it's equally as fun, equally as exciting, and you kind of just moving closer and closer to a final something. Get amped for the mural. We got some great footage. It came out really awesome. Um, chapter one of my short story entitled Into the Forest. It's up, it's alive. That's all I got. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Maybe learned something. I don't know. It's beautiful out, golden hour. See you in the next video. Stay tuned.